Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Now I had some sound, so <laughs> welcome back. Welcome everyone to, to uh, the Swing Trading Show, Friday, July 21st. The market, the U.S. market are still going up. NASDAQ is a little, is a, is a little bit better. Uh, the Dow Jones is only 9 point. And on the TSX, but we, we have a little... Um, uh, a surge up uh, on the mining, uh, the gold and, and the crude oil that came back. The market is very nervous and there are m so many bizarre things right now on the market. On the TSX, we have many sectors that are going up, but because of one or two stocks in the sector that is really, really surging, uh, j just for an example here, look at consumer discretionary that has been going up for three days, but that's one stock, that's Thomson Reuters. And uh, we have the same scenario in many sectors. So I found it very, very uh, bizarre that uh, all institutions decided to buy uh, the same stock, but that one stock that, that is moving upward this way is enough to keep the uh, the index uh, positive so where are we uh, uh, going to to uh, uh, go in the next week you know uh, first of all the Canadian uh, uh, market it will become in correction we have two uh, uh, GDP negative so far and uh, um, on the uh, the previous show, where, where I, I asked a survey uh, to the people asking, uh, have you uh, have you been told by by people in the business that oh, business is very bad since uh, since in, in the last year, and uh, we have something like uh, sixty or seventy percent of the people that all heard, heard that. I know a restaurant owner, a many type of business owner, and they all say the same thing. But you have the prime minister and all ministers says, oh, we have some very good uh, result and the economy is going so well. And, but actually, you know, the way it is, it, it's not really the truth. I have so many earnings, I cannot 
show it all uh, there's just too many it would take the whole show just to do that so i'm gonna go through the list here and just show a couple uh, linkedin is going down despite the fact that they had uh previously uh, 30 cents now 55 and the stock is going down and uh, and look at the uh, Expedia this morning has been uh, uh, expedited uh, in the sky. Uh, they they uh, were expecting 84. They had 89 cents. And uh, the, the the bad result uh, this morning came uh, from uh, the oil company. So look at Exxon. Where they were expecting a dollar 11. They got a dollar. Chevron were expecting a dollar 15. They got 30 cents. And both of the companies. Have uh, um, are are uh, coming out with a uh, 30 and 33 percent less revenue. So that's that's a lot, you know, 30 percent less revenue. So I think the stock are not going down enough on that. But what's very funny about the um, uh, oil uh, sector right now? Is, look, USO keeps going down, and it's back after two days of pullback. It's back almost to the lowest point of the year again so will it break down and if you look at the gas the gas is also heading towards the same direction to the lowest of the year and if you look at the stock the stock were going up for the last three days and despite the fact that the go that the, the the crude oil and the gas are going down today the the oil stock are not going down even though they came out with bad results so what is the <laughs> what is the real situation there what what, what is coming uh, what, what is coming up next you know uh, we either uh, maybe there is something that we don't know and that's why the institution keeps their position even though the resources are going down Uh, there was a good news today about uh, Newlink, Genetic, and uh, Merck. The stock were not uh, uh, moving that much. Uh, let's see here. Oh, there we are. Um, and I, I would have expected to see uh, uh, Merck and uh, Newlink, Genetic going higher than that and stronger. Uh, because, but it's not the case. The volume is very low. The increase is very small. Even New Link uh, started uh, higher this morning, and it's now go uh, uh, just normal, just a, a small movement. And but the news is big, and uh, they have tested their new drug about uh, a Ebola uh, virus uh, on four thousand person, and uh, they said that the uh, the drug is capable to stop the virus and to protect uh, at 100% after 10 days. So that's huge as news. But you know, uh, the epidemia is over. So that's maybe why it's not going on that much. And, uh, but uh, the, um, uh, the, it hasn't been approved by the FDA. That's, it's probably uh, the, the main thing so far. And uh, that's it for the news uh, for, for today. We don't have uh, that much. I want to go through this, uh, uh, first of all, the crude oil, you know. Right now, I do not think we should consider the, uh, the uh, USO and the crude oil as a very strong bottom, despite the fact it was there three times already, and every time it bounced back. Uh, for you know look at this uh, we're back also at the same place and we never got into the, this uh, bullish uh, uh, this uptrend so um, uh, will we see again the uh, crude oil uh, at uh, 40 bucks and 35 bucks uh, there's a there's a reason why the crude oil doesn't go up you know and uh, so I think the the pullback on the um, uh, stock index, oil stock index, is over, and uh, I think it's going to come back down. So that's why I say I don't think it's a good place to buy the oil stock right now. And uh, what about the gold? We still, we will still have to wait a little bit because the gold never broke through its very short-term resistance. I'm gonna that that you see here for so many days. So until it really breaks out strongly, 
I think we should avoid buying long in gold stock because it's still possible that the gold will go even deeper. What about the mining? Again, the mining has been safe uh, intraday wise today it was a nice movement i'm going to uh, well, first of all look at it in in the uh, the last uh, 10 days we have a long sideway movement here and and uh, so right now we get just can't take a decision i think we should wait until we break the 550 line because it's always a possibility that the uh, uh, mining will break down again so when you look at it for the day it was a nice movement but sometime uh, we just can't look just at the short term this was nice for day trading but for swing for the swing trading nothing is proving that we could be on a strong enough bottom right now so I mean I would just pass on buying long on those uh, sector so far and for all of the rest as far as i'm concerned when you look at consumer discretionary we're at the very top again so that's not the place to buy and that's a place to take a profit and what about the financial we're at the end i think of the last pullback the trend was a, a, a downtrend in this angle and then it became a trend in this angle and right now we are pulling back until we touch the uh, upper uh, downtrend and this is a place to take profit and not a place to buy because it's not a bottom it's not the beginning of a new bullish cycle in the last few minutes i'm going to uh, answer a few of your questions i have four or five so if you have uh, a question uh, take the, the the time during the break uh, to send it to me and uh, i have first here uh, a question from james talking about uh, uh, westjet I'll be back just after the break. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunities. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. This one, A10 Network, yeah. Um, okay, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I have a new stock here, which is nice. Nice in day trading, nice in swing trading. Also, A10 Network, the stock is uh, really uh, uh, pushing up. And uh, we're, we're a little bit late for the day. But, I mean, there is quite a, poten uh, quite, uh, a lot of potential on those stocks. And this morning, we had another one here, Voltari. We had it for quite a while uh, in the uh, day trading uh, uh, recommendation and it's still very interesting and, and and maybe the best is still to come also so there was a couple of nice trade to do with that this morning and check it out because at 885 we would have another uh, bullish cycle and and the most uh, performing stock uh, we had this morning is a stock that rose again uh, for at least 100 percent it's now 61 but it's not at the top of the day and if you want to see this look at that we had it prior to the market opening and the stock uh, uh, broke out at the opening and broke out then again a little bit later from 37 to 47 and 48 right now it's on the slowdown but i mean 
keep that stock in mind for the next few days because it's really the volume is big and the volume is great so like Voltari uh, you know you cannot uh, uh, put this stock away keep looking at them because you know sooner or later there are still a lot of movement to come in there you remember this stock went from about a dollar fifty to twenty two bucks in less than a couple of weeks so this is dynamite folks okay and uh, so the question was uh, from uh, James, uh, uh, James about uh, WestJet. And James says, increasing my long exposure on the WGA and uh, at this level, is it good strategy or should I keep my position I bought at 22? I wouldn't buy more, uh, uh, James, because if you look at this situation right now, um, let me show it to you in f with 15 minutes chart. So, you know, that's where it is right now. If you want to buy more, buy it when it breaks to 25, 23, 25, because then that would be a very nice breakout here from there. But, you know, at the other end, when you bought it at 22, you know what I would do? I would put a stop loss at 22.75 right now because if it touched 22.75, you're going to come back to your the 22 that you paid. So, if you want to keep the money in your pocket, you know, so put a stop loss at 22, 20, 75 and put a buy stop at 23, 25. Uh, Suncor uh, from uh, AN, um, Suncor uh, at plus two on good result despite crude at 50 bucks. Buy or wait for a pullback. But anyway, right now it's th there was a pullback. The stock rose, and it's now at a, a very important resistance here. So where is the call over here? Th this next call, this next buying signal is thirty-seven dollar twenty-five cents. But that would be a selling, a sell signal at thirty-six twenty-five. Uh, um, and uh, you know, I think. Uh, the, uh, the uh, you were saying uh, f 50 bucks but it's actually uh, 45 uh, 47 right now and um, hi Michelle I really like your analysis uh, you have helped me avoid many missteps and what seems to be a market minefield but you know that's what I'm here for uh, we're here we're selling product we make money out of, out of you because we supply the, the, our our uh, community with softwares and data and courses and advising site and everything but the most important thing is that we do uh, a, a large part of education here. We like doing that, and I think we all, you know, I, uh, I, I will, I will try to always continue uh, to help the investors. And uh, here, uh, Lulu as, is asking for DGC higher is higher than his sector yes it does he's been uh, the stock has been overperforming the sector except here that there was a sell signal here and right now um it, it's no longer a it, it, the stock doesn't no longer really overperform and right now i would be a little bit worried you know and i would exit the stock under the 12 bucks because that would confirm a steeper downtrend so now it's still within a pullback but if it ever turns around and uh, exactly where at this point it would be like 12 bucks at 12 bucks we got a sell signal here uh, and the last question about HVU, um, I don't have no time, I have to wait, on the, you'll have to wait until Monday. So I wish you a very good uh, weekend. I'll be here once in a while next week. Close. Pardon? Monday, the TSX is closed, Civic Holiday. Oh, it's Civic Holiday Monday. We're not there Monday, we're closed because it's Civic Holiday. The Canadian Exchange are closed and we have exchanged the 24th of June here while we were working for this particular date. My crew here is not working on Monday, so we'll see you on Tuesday. Good weekend.